Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Trading Room. Today I want to show you how to use probability cones. Now a probability cone is just really an, an idea of standard deviation and, and forward thinking based on a few factors such as implied volatility. So let's go ahead and take a look at Apple and I'll show you how this works. So the first thing we need to do to get to a probability cone is actually build a trade. So I'm going to click on options, option chains, and from there what I want to do is I'm going to go out and look at the January 2016, uh, well actually yeah, January 2016 options on Apple because maybe I want to look at a long-term view of Apple. And so from there, I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Now, I'm looking at, at um, strike prices that are 10% above and below the stock price. So with the stock tri price trading right now around 127.63, um, let's look at a 130 call. Okay, long-term call option, going to cost $11 to put this thing on. So uh, $11.33 in the mid. So we're going to need this thing to be at 140, 133 by January 2016. Right now, I actually believe it's going to go a lot higher for a lot of reasons, but still, let's go ahead and take a look at this, and let's see what statistical volatility says to the upside and the downside. So we're going to bring back the risk graph, and the risk graph is going to show us how much this is going to cost us, the, uh, the uh, downside break even, all right, at expiration. What you're also going to see is you're going to see in the chart the standard deviation bands, and then I also see the standard deviation bands as uh, where the actual um, risk graph lies. So, for instance, um, standard deviation bands say that by January 2016 that Apple could get up around the mid-160 range, all right, which would put this trade into a profitable position. So down here at the bottom, all right, past the volatility charts, past the comments, all right, past the risk graph settings, you're going to see the statistics and probability. Now down here at zero days at expiration, you're going to see a cone chart, all right, a green button. Click on that. That's going to give you your probability cones, all right? Now your probability cones are going to show you going out as this is a uh, 300 days out into the uh, future, all right? This puts us out into, um, into next year, all right, to January's expiration, and it shows us this statistical probability of what Apple is likely to do. It doesn't tell us that Apple is likely to go up or that Apple is likely to go down. It's basing, this cone is based on implied volatility and based on those option premiums out in January. And it shows us, based on that, the idea of where option traders believe Apple could range to. Right? Doesn't mean Apple's going to go up or go down. It means that there's a statistical probability that Apple is going to stay within this trading range. Right? This trading range is, is uh, around 160 to the upside, and to the downside by January, it's saying it could be down around 100. Right? This is the, the first standard deviation. The second standard deviation puts this thing at 200 to the upside and uh, just above 80 to the downside. All right? So, does statistical probability help you determine direction in the markets? Absolutely not. But what statistical probability can tell you is if you are uh, directionally biased to the upside or directionally biased to the downside, it can give you an idea what option traders believe the move is likely to make. So it may be able to help us determine a target. All right. If we are bullish on Apple, where does statistical volatile, uh, the statistical probability say Apple could possibly reach out to by January of next year? Oh, uh, on the first standard deviation around 160, on the second standard deviation around 200. All right, so this is where uh, the, a probability cone could help you, uh, not so much in determining direction, but range. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Hope you found this enjoyable. More videos to come.